Hello and welcome to Lindell Brakes. Today we're going to be taking a look at our full floating rotors, some of the different styles that we offer, and some of the unique features of these rotors. As you can see, we have three distinct styles of outer friction ring. We have our classic round, we have our crown cut, and we have our bow tie crown cut. Our classic round is just that. It's a classic round. It looks beautiful on an FXR restore, keeping era correct with modern performance, if you will. Also, you'll see these full round rotors are quite common now in the Moto America King of the Baggers series, as well as the uh, Roland Sand Super Hooligan series. I want to talk about the reason that we elected to put a big gas slot in here as opposed to drilling or cross drilling the rotor. Under heavy friction loads, gases are created that push the trailing edge of the pad away from the rotor. And unlike a hole that will be packing air, when this is spinning, when this is up to speed, this gas slot is a negative pressure area, so it creates a vacuum. And it uh, sucks the gases away, so it gives the pad a better friction coupling on the substrate. It equates to a, a more efficient, more effective brake, and consequently, consequently, one with a higher service life, because those same gases that push the, the trailing edge of the pad away can also gall the substrate. You can get a gas galling on this, on this and it will create a tapering or a warping, if you will. So these, these uh, big bat wing gas slots are very effective, and I might add they're very beautiful, especially once this rotor's been used. Uh, these low-lying areas maintain their original look and luster, and it's a really nice contrast. Whether you've got a silver rotor, a black rotor, a gold rotor, it's a very distinct look. It's almost a, a trademark look of a Lindell rotor, and it works uh, exceedingly well. These gas slots also have these hard leading edges that will deglaze the brake pad as it's operating. So uh, another uh, nice function of these gas slots. So here we have our crown cut two-piece rotor. You'll see the same bat wing gas slots on here. You'll see that we have scalloped the OD and put this crown cut in here. It's a very aggressive look. It works very well. It provides a, a bit of a reduction in unsprung weight, as well as additional surface area for cooling to take place. And it's gonna need that because we've removed some of the mass of the rotor. Finally, we have our bow tie crown cut, and this is our lightest rotor. And it's also the lightest steel rotor in the industry. Nobody makes a lighter rotor than this. Some of the unique features are very narrow bandwidth. And the reason that we did this is for a fixed amount of clamping force at the caliper, we've increased the surface friction by reducing the surface area. And therefore, it creates more friction. Subsequently, it creates more heat. And now that we've gotten rid of a lot of the heat sink capabilities of a full round rotor, we're trying to make that up by increase in surface area for the cooling to take place. So again, very light, very functional. You'll see these beautiful bow tie gas slots on here. And again, hard edges high and low to break any glaze. It's, this is our most aggressive look and performance rotor that we have. I want to talk about performance now as opposed to looks. Not all rotors are created equal and there's not a, a perfect rotor for all riding scenarios. With that said, I want to get into some of the trade-offs, some of the pros and cons of our lightweight rotor now that I've mentioned it. And so I'm going to bring this in a little closer. This round rotor got a lot more mass to it, so it can absorb a higher thermal load for a longer duration. Okay, so that's, that's one of the trade-offs. We found through uh, countless tests fast test at the lab, track test on track days, now with a couple of seasons in Moto America on the King of the Baggers, we have found that under heavy thermal cycle loads and repeated thermal cycles where, where you have complete thermal saturation, the round rotor is, is the best for that scenario because it can absorb the most amount of temperature and that's needed when you have these, you know, essentially 700 pound bikes that are two seconds off at, at most on the superbike lap time. So they're really pushing these bikes and hats off to everyone who's doing that. One of the advantages that you get with this though is a significant reduction in unsprung weight. So if you were on a short tight track 
say where your your speeds are lower but your need for transitioning acceleration deceleration uh, is paramount in importance this is this is the best rotor for that application because it is half the weight of a round rotor it you, your acceleration deceleration transitioning are superior so if you're at, at road america or a long track where you're having insanely high entrance speeds and you're on the binders for a long time and you're and you're at complete thermal saturation this is where you want to be so different rotors for different applications for sure if you're riding on the street i don't care how hard you ride on the street any one of these rotors will far exceed your capability so with that said i want to get into some of the weight comparisons i have for illustration a stock Harley two-piece floating rotor, as you might find on a M8 Softail or uh, many other models. So this is Harley's two-piece rotor, and I'm going to lay this up on a scale. This is a basic shipping scale. It's not the most precise scale, but for this illustration, it'll do handily because the difference in weights are significant. So with that said, I'm going to put the stock Harley rotor on. And you can see that the scale reads 3.9 pounds. I'm going to take this off. And to compare apples to apples, I'm just going to put our round rotor on there. So you can see that our round rotor weighs 3.2 pounds. So there's a significant uh, weight reduction there just in, in round to round. Now I'm going to show you our lightest rotor. And again, the lightest rotor in the industry. Nobody makes a lighter steel rotor than this rotor. And when I lay this on the scale, it's at 2 pounds. Almost half the weight of the factory counterpart you'll have a noticeable difference in acceleration, deceleration, and transitioning of your bike. Not only does it look beautiful, but it's very functional. Additionally, our rotors come in a variety of styles. We have countless inner styles. We match almost every factory Harley wheel and, and almost every aftermarket wheel for that matter. And then we have three different friction rings to choose from. These are all interchangeable, 11.5, 11.8, any of these will switch over to any of the carriers. All you have to do is find the edge of the ring, you peel the wire out, you take this off, you switch out whatever ring you want to put on there. All these carriers, all these friction rings are interchangeable. So that's a, another unique feature that we have here. We say if you put this on your bike and you're less than in love with it for any reason, buy it right back. Additionally, if you use our rotors exclusively with Lindel pads, then we lifetime guarantee this disc against warpage. That's another unique guarantee that nobody offers. We start with the finest low carbon martensitic steel that money can buy. Our processes for, for heat treat, for flatness, parallel, for machining the shapes is second to nothing. Been in the brake game for about 25 years. So we're well established in our friction coupling knowledge, our machining processes, and most importantly, our final quality control processes. We have invested a lot of time and energy into discerning the optimal friction coupling between our brake pads and our rotors. And this is another reason that we can lifetime guarantee against warpage our rotors where our competitors can't. So we do offer these in 13 inch with the same variety of, of outer friction rings, inner carrier styles, so we can match fronts to rears. We have a variety of styles and finishes. Again, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. If you like these videos, please uh, share one and uh, click the like button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.